Today, we're gonna find out what the best camera is for content in 2021. Hey guys, David Foster here, The Impartial Geek, where I show you how to create kick-ass content. I don't know, I thought maybe that would be funny. I don't think it was as funny as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, you tell me in the comments. But anyway, today we are talking about the best content creating camera of 2021. Now last year, I deemed the Sony A5100 the best live streaming camera. Some of you might remember that. And this year, we're sticking with that brand. We're sticking with Sony. And this year, the best camera award is going to the Sony A6100. Now you can pick this camera up for about $798 on Amazon at the time of making this video for just the body, which I highly recommend you do get just the body if you wanna go with this camera. It's actually the camera that I'm using right now. It's also the camera for this shot right here. This is the Sony A6100 with a 30 millimeter Sigma F1.4. And this shot is the Sony a6100 with the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. Now, the reason I say don't get the kit lens with it is because for $350, you can get the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. It's a much better lens. I'm about two feet from it, so I can touch it like this. Uh, it's just right over my computer. As you can see, the lens is right here, just out of reach over the top of my, my monitor. And that makes setup really, I mean, basically this is a webcam. And I actually have a kit that I recommend. If you wanna make this your webcam, go to kit.co forward slash impartial geek and look for the pro webcam kit that I have available. Now, the reason I changed cameras for 2021 is because first of all, they stopped making the Sony a5100. They're not gonna make it anymore. But second, for $798, that's what it is at the time I'm making this video, it could change, it fluctuates. Sometimes I find it lower, sometimes a little bit higher, but it's right on par with the, with the new Canon M50 Mark II, which also has clean HDMI and you can get the same lens. So. As I'm sitting here making Sony A6100 the winner, you could also choose, because they're around the same price, the Canon M50 Mark II, not the Mark I. The Mark I does not have clean HDMI. I mean, it does, but you have to download a firmware and then it's not the highest quality. Like there's different hacks and stuff you gotta do in order to get it to work. So I don't recommend the M50 Mark I. But to be honest, I'm not a fan of Canon for live video specifically or recording the way that I do because I record my videos in software. I don't have an SD card in this camera. I don't need it. I rely on my streaming software to record internally. That way I don't need to use up SD card space. I don't have to buy that. But I, I prefer the Sony's because out of the box, all of the Sony lines work for live streaming or recording. And again, this makes it so you don't have to worry about the recording limits or overheating or anything like that because it records directly on software. The problem I have with Canon is the fact that they're just now trying to play catch up. They could have put clean HDMI on their cameras with a simple firmware update, but they didn't. They made people upgrade to the next model. I have a problem with that. I don't like when people do money grabs like that, when companies do that. So that's why I don't lean towards Canon, but I know some of you have a ton of Canon glass. So you're gonna wanna stick with Canon, which is absolutely fine. So Canon M50 Mark II on the Canon side, but the best camera, in my opinion, is the Sony a6100 with this lens combination. I have had a lot of students upgrade to this camera and they absolutely love it. There have been people come to me and tell me, holy cow, that completely changed the look of my production. And it does. And I have a workshop where I show you not only how to create content, but how to bring this gear into your production. Just go to creatortoolkit.com and sign up. It's absolutely free. And the way that I'm keeping it free is because I'm asking those who can afford it to go over to patreon.com forward slash creators guild and get signed up as a patron and help support the channel. You get access to exclusive content as well as a private weekly group coaching call where we get in and go a little bit deeper into content creation, uh, studio design, anything you wanna talk about, I'll talk about. So what do you think about the Sony a6100? Do you have one? Are you thinking about getting one? Do you have the Sigma 16 millimeter? I'd be curious to know. If you're not a member of the guild, head over to creatorsguild.app and sign up. It's absolutely free there and join the community. Come share pictures of your studios. We'd love to see them. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.